Guys, someone once told me that I should play Metal Gear Solid V. The V actually stands for Velociraptor. And that someone also told me that I will play as a snake. But I was really disappointed, because it's not sequel to Snake from 1998 Nokia game. Instead you play as a middle-aged cyborg punished snake. But it's close enough, so I gave it a try. I really don't know what is the goal of the game since I chose a Japanese language to enchant my playthrough experience. But since I'm cyborg, I guess it's about being a superhero. So I just messed around and became chicken. I don't know how that happened, but chicken is the biggest ancient being in Norse anime mythology since the dawn of the time. So I gave it a pass this time. But with great power comes big electricity bill, so I didn't want to be chicken man anymore. From now on, I decided to be a Batman. I asked my development team to build me a Batmobile, but this is what they sent me. I was really disappointed again, because they named that thing a Pikachu. And as you know, Pikachu is allergic to water attack. So it broke right away. I guess being a hero is a hard job, but I gave it the last chance. And I became the Flash. I could bend the fabrics of the time itself. I could run faster than seniors on the discount day at the supermarket. But then those gold old lips put Legos all around. And I will not undergo that pain again. So I decided to make a new franchise. I wanted to become a Venom. But I received a letter from Marvel that name was already registered, so I became V3 and 0M due to copyright issues. I was finally independent, but every superhero franchise needs its own villain. So I decided to angry Liam Neeson. He then threatened me to find me and kill me. Then I reconsidered my life decisions, but it was too late. I even tried to persuade Liam to go to the doctor field to reconcile our problems. Unfortunately, it didn't work. But I trusted the craftsmanship of Japan developers. I knew they must have hide something in the game that helps me defeat him, but I couldn't find anything. But then I realized maybe the developer himself was the answer. I got this. I need to magically disappear. He didn't expect this. My ultimate weapon. His ultimate weakness. For millennia, humankind tried to figure out what is Liam Neeson's kryptonite. Multiple studies, millions of dollars, two world wars, one grizzly bear, four horsemen of apocalypse, and it all led to one thing. Greatest invention throughout the multiverse. The newest nanotechnologies ever created. And finally he couldn't find me. I was hiding in the cardboard box for the whole time. If you really think about it, it's actually really smart idea. 